Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back. And today is currently July, not July, September 26th, 2022. It is the last of a state. It is also Joel's birthday. Happy 41st birthday, Joel. And every day, you know, we have the last of a state, which is actually pretty funny because essentially Outbreak Day is actually the 27th like at around 1, 2 a.m. Because like the game starts at 11 p.m. on the 26th and then it goes... Anyway, besides the point, the 26th is known as The Last of Us Day and we have got The Last of Us official teaser for the HBO show. Now I have... I am very red. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm still kind of on the edge. I love the games. I kind of wish the games had just said games, but hey-ho. So we're going to react to it today. <laughs> we're going to see how it is. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it is. Let's give it a watch. Yeah, there we go. The roses have faded, there's frost at my door. The birds in the morning don't sing anymore. The grass in the valley is starting to die. And out in the darkness, the whippoorwills cry. The darkness is falling, the sky has turned gray, the hound in the distance is starting to fade. <laughs> your chance. Oh, that shot. We keep her alive. And you said everything right. Aww. 2023. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. Obviously playing the games, there were like certain scenes to me. This for some reason looks really fake. I think having played the games and seeing this, I'm like, that's clearly a set. This obviously isn't real life, which I mean, obviously it isn't, but I don't know what it is. I think it's the helmet. I think it's the helmet being too big. I don't know what it is. That kind of just looked fake to me. This looks amazing. This is obviously CGI. This isn't real, but there they are down there. It's probably green screen CGI. Not too sure about this. You know what? This might be Bill. Although it's a bit weird Bill has technology. It might be Bill? I honestly could not tell you. I, I could not tell you. One thing that I have obviously always been happy as is Pedro as Joel. As soon as we found out that Pedro was going to be Joel. Obviously it wouldn't be my choice. But I wouldn't trust anyone else with the role of Joel. Because I love Pedro and I love Joel, obviously. And the watch, the cracked watch. This is interesting. I don't know. It just looks so proppy and fake to me. But obviously that's because I've played the games. That's just on me. Is this one Ellie's? Obvi okay, spoilers firstly. I mean, obviously they're going to speak about spoilers, whatever. I think this might be when Ellie is kidnapped. I'm not too sure about this scene. This would be literally any, like, Pittsburgh with Henry and Sam. One thing I'm sad about, we didn't see Henry and Sam which I can actually kind of understand but we also didn't see Tommy although I think we did hear a bit of Tommy's voice at the end there yeah this is when they're in the tunnels escaping the city I like Bella's or Ellie's outfit that looks really cute uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and say this is Bill but honestly I'm probably wrong if it is I'm very confused because why would Bill have these types of I mean he might this not much to say, not gonna lie. This looks like uh, the muse museum part in the game. Again, when you're escaping. Oh, I love him as Joel. I, I know that they've kind of put the seasons back a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like how they've kind of done it so that the game came out or like the beginning of it is set in two... 2003 and then it was like it's either 2003 or 2002 and so in the present when you're watching it it's like 2022 or 2023. I don't get why they did that. I mean there was a lot of 
talk about them doing that to make it more relatable with obviously COVID. But no one wants that. Literally no one wants that. Why would you do that? I don't get why they did that. And obviously having done that, Future Days is not a thing because it came out after the beginning of the game is set, which is again, frustrating. Although I do love the song that was playing in the trailer. Sorry, I'm a bit ill at the moment, so I'll go very nasally at some points. This I'm guessing when is after Joel is like, you're not my daughter and I sure as hell ain't your dad and we are going our separate ways. Basically the farmhouse scene. Then we have Marlene. I don't know who that is, but we have Marlene and we have the parts from the left behind DLC, which looks great. You obviously have Joel and Sarah. This, the only thing I could think that this is would be when the fireflies bomb the checkpoint but i think this might be a scene that wasn't in the game because tess tess do be looking stressed did not mean to make that rhyme oh god my nose again the prequel oh no tommy we did see tommy i didn't see that first watching the trailer this is why you gotta go back and watch it slowly and frame by frame then obviously we meet bill okay you know well have it this i got mad at because who the hell is this who the hell actually oh what's what's the bet it's bill and frank what's the bet is a flashback to bill and frank i might be wrong but what's the bet i feel like I feel like that's a good case. I feel like that. I feel like that's a good shout. I originally thought it was Joel and his wife. Clearly not the case. But that was why I was like, <gasps> at first, because I wasn't going to be mad, basically. Uh, we have Joel fighting infected. Bella, can't really see where that scene's from. I think these are probably hunters. Then we obviously have the prologue of the game. And then we have like the winter parts. Um, I think the seasons are kind of out of timing though with the game. I'm not sure when this would be. I don't know if we saw that in the game. I did just finish part one and left behind the remakes obviously. Uh, so I do have pretty recent knowledge of playing the game i don't know what's going on here that might be oh that no it's not the car crash i don't know what that is this is obviously at the hall where tess dies the capitol building the car crash that they get into i think this would probably be after ellie got kidnapped and then we obviously have the clicker and then this i'm guessing is meant to be a mirror image to either the beginning of the game where they enter the museum and joel's like is that everything you hoped for that or it's at the end of the game before they get to the hospital St Mary's hospital with just after the giraffe scene I'm not too sure though but it does look really good it does look really good I guess I'm excited for it I think a lot of it was just me kind of wanting to be gate not wanting to be gatekeeper -y, but I just I never felt like it needed a show especially since I feel like you would get more out of watching the cutscenes than you would the show I don't know I guess it'll be fun more people can get into it I guess I'm more excited for it than I was originally. I will be watching it, but I mean, let's face it, it's never going to compete with the games. It's never going to even touch the games because the games are superior. I think that's like it with any piece of media, though. If the, whatever comes first will be superior. That, that's just how I view it anyway. I don't know. I get, obviously, people wanting to... I mean, at the end of the day, it's just money. The only reason why games become shows is for money. It's not needed. It's genuinely not needed. It's not Nice including other people, yeah, but it's not needed. <laughs> it's genuinely not. I don't get why Horizon is coming a game. Cyberpunk is getting a Netflix series. Apparently Red Dead 2 is kind of gonna become a game. They were thinking about making, making Detroit become human a game and Life is Strange and that just doesn't work because those are story-based games for a reason. You can't, I mean, there was a whole Black Mirror on Netflix where you could kind of choose how it went, but not how in depth as Detroit become human goes or even Life is Strange. I'm very hot and ready for you read i just don't get it i don't get the point i mean this you can kind of understand but story-based games not story choice-based games why how would that even work because do you know how many okay how many endings does detroit become human have detroit become human has 85 endings and there's an overlap like i don't get how you would kind of do that in terms of making it a film or a show i don't know i just don't think it's needed but i am excited for the the show i think it does it does look really good it's only a teaser trailer so it's not 
an actual like official trailer but obviously if you've played the games you know you can pretty much tell scene by scene what happens i mean you know what happens but i'm excited for it it's interesting it, it looks better than i thought it would be i'm gonna leave that there for today though thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you in another video okay bye